Hi folks, this is Benny Ho, the old stump bumper. Your host of the Southern Sportsman. Our show has been here for over 27 years on TV. We welcome you all to come along the old stump bumper in search of exciting TV footage that is suited for the whole family. We'll show you how to catch them and how to put them in the boat. Now let's see what our adventure is all about today. July and it's cool, but we're gonna catch fish. That's the coolest July I've ever seen. He, he's got his rain, I mean, got his snowsuit on. Snowsuit. <laughs> <laughs> he, I got a heavy jacket though. July the 26th. Oh, also fair. He's tough. He ain't got nothing but short leaf shirt. Oh, Hawes, he's, he's just like whip that there. <laughs> he's cold, he just ain't going mid. Yeah, right. I've been waiting on this little cool spell. This heat's been too much. Oh, it has, hasn't it? It's just been too hot. They even come out here and fish like this. Boy, we had a good time on that shooting the dots with you, fella. Some of you folks didn't see it with them, but. I was a white uh, brothers here a few weeks ago on Chickamauga Lake shooting the docks. And they called me and said, we're going to troll, now it's trolling time, so y'all might see something different here on crappie trolling for one of the crankbaits. So uh, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. We got a horse on the front and bear here in the back, so we got them hemmed up here anyway. Yep. We got them hemmed up. <laughs> we got six rods out. Well, <laughs> gotta get this one tied on, Barry. I ain't got it tied. Oh, on. well, he's got one up there. We ain't got a bait on we yet. Got, we got Shanghai on it. I've got to, I got to rig it up. I'll get it rigged up here in a minute. We all rigged up and bring this crop in, folks. We'll be right back. Just stay tuned, there and uh, we'll get a word here from our fine sponsor. We'll be right back. Hey folks, this is Benny Hull. I've had my insurance with Flegel Insurance for over 40 years. They have been a great company to deal with. In 2017, they're celebrating their 100 years in business. Flegel Insurance represents over 20 carriers. And that's a great thing there, I believe. You've got a good choice of the companies you want to go with. They insure vehicles, boats, trailers, homes, life, or health insurance. Come see the great folks at Flegel. They're great people to deal with. So if you hunt, come get the hunting gear they have, fishing, camping, they have right here at Sportsman Wirehouse. It don't get any better. You know, a lot of you folks that quit cropping fishing after spring, but these fish gonna hit all summer, they don't care how it is, just troll deep. They're still there. They gonna eat, ain't the boy? That's right, they're gonna eat. They, gonna they don't eat. quit eating. They don't quit eating. And they found a good way to find them, to catch them in hot summer time, throwing crankbaits. I don't know if he's a keeper now. I don't know either. No, he's on there. I'm just winding him easy. Them old crappie, these treble hooks, you think, oh, they're in there. Them treble hooks pull out of ones quick. Breaking eyes for them. Let's see what we got here. Did he stay on, Benny? Yeah, he's on there. He's pulling a little drag, too. Well, I got it set loose on them, on that four pound test out here. Yeah. I don't think he'll measure, really. Ah, he'll be close. Them white crappie. Boy, this is a good one here. Is it? All right. Ooh. It's like any other fish. You'll catch little and you catch big ones. That is a little good looking one. Yeah.
He wanted it, didn't he? Yeah, he's hungry. Yeah, he's hungry. I'm going to have to have some pliers. Where's my needle over here, though? That's the beauty there, Barry. There you go, buddy. See how good the center is on his side. Look at our beauty. Ten and a half inches. You said he wouldn't measure. Yeah? Yeah. He fooled me. That's because I got one eye. I just had one eye on him. You just had one eye. You was watching Barry back there with that other fish. What yeah, he was. had my attention on that good one back there. That's a nice one. That'd be crazy, bro. Well, all them up in Alaska over here, you have to fight for your piece of fish to eat. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. They really got them with fire, ain't they? They yeah. almost a nuisance to people. Yes, yeah, many of them. I don't know what it's like about that North Country. There he comes. There he comes. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Oh, I've got my hands full there, hang on. There you go, baby. Oh, hell, yeah. You busy. I got to touch one. Yeah, you have to really be careful with them treble hooks. They'll grab you, boy. We know what happened. They will get you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. See, we got four goods in there. Ain't been going long. Summertime crappie. And crankbaits. And most of the crappie fishing, they'll quit after about March, April. Yes, most people. In May, they don't think they can catch more, but if you get out here and troll, if you got a boat, troll them plugs. Folks on a crank plug when you're trolling or pulling it with your rod and reel, and if they run to the left or right, it won't run right. Like if it's uh, running to the left, just get your pliers, even those pliers, and where that hook is hooked on the eye there, on the plug lip there, kind of tune it to the right. I mean, it's, when it's pulling the right, tune it back to the left. Many eggs of fish on that outside rod on the left side. Hey, time out, I'm gonna get this fish. I'll be right back. <laughs> if it stayed on. I don't know if it. Oh, it's kind of dead weight fish. He's not pulling much. Might be snagged. We were talking there a while ago and I had to get that crappie off, but when this eye ring here that holds this split ring on it's turned a little bit too much. It don't take but a hair and, it, and that plug will run left or right way, it won't run true. So if it runs left way, you just turn it back to the right just a little bit. That's all it takes, just a hair. And then if it runs the other way, we, you know, just do the opposite, uh, move that the other way. And that way it runs smooth and uh, straight. If it don't run true and straight, they won't hit it. But if it, uh, if it rings turn one way or the other, it'd make that plug turn to the right or left. Run crazy. The fishing deal has been brought to you by the Sportsman Wirehouse. Rod and reels, guns, camping equipment, anything under the sun you think about on the outdoors for your sport, you can find it at Sportsman Wirehouse at the best prices 
around Chattanooga Tri-State area. Go give a visit. They'll have it. I'll guarantee whatever it is, they'll have it. The largest sporting stores in the United States. Oh, anyway. I want to hand me the net for this one. I believe I got it the big one this time. I won't beat you. Here you go, Bernie. You've been holding first place long enough. <laughs> if you can get him to the <laughs> boat. I believe that's as good as you, that you got, Barry. Well, <laughs> he's close. Don't you, Hoss? I think he's bigger. Think mine's bigger? Oh, yeah. I think he's bigger. What do y'all think out there in La La Land? I think mine's bigger. I don't he's, think so. He's big. I tell you, he feels mighty he's got good. Got belly on him. He's been eating yeah. good. Yeah. They've been feeding over on them shad minnows at night on the banks, and they come back down this deep water. See what you folks missing by not going to summertime crappie fishing? Man, he likes to knock the bottom out of the thing. What's wrong with that orange rod back there? Catching nothing on it. It's just a ride, man. It's just a ride. It's long for the ride. Every now and then it's just that way. That rod just won't catch one. You can do whatever. Folks, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Summertime crappie. These boys show you how it's done, won't they? You can book them up and do the same thing. They're easy fishing. Just get them on there and bring them to the house. You don't know there's no work to it. Just have a good time. You can damn even dance in the boat if you don't do whatever you want to do. Eat a sandwich, drink a cold drink, and catch there a There you crop. go. Is that on that gold one? That's on that gold one. Well, it, it paid off. He has now dropped it in, didn't he? Yeah. He's not as big as we're catching, is he? No. Barry. No, he's... Well, a horse, horse ain't getting as big as we're getting. Oh, you're driving the boat, that's what the trouble is? Yeah, that's my trouble. Oh, you're pulling, man, buddy. Yeah, you're pulling. Stay on, Bert. I'm still on. He's trying to cross every line I've got. No, no, no. We'll double up again. I think we're about to give up on this spot too, too soon. And all of a sudden, he got to go in, and I got one. Oh. All right. Old oh, Nanner head. What's yours? You got a good and berry? Yeah. You make the pot? Oh Lord, yeah, he makes the pot easy. Mm -hmm. I'll let you put him in there and I'll get this rod back set. You still you got a lot of life in it. Yeah, berries is a little bigger. Hey, Benny, Barry's gonna give you a little tip there. Brought to you by Terrace View Marina, what we put in there this morning. He's gonna tell you how we run our setups on our crankbaits there, and uh, uh, maybe it'll help you keep from getting so much line twist and, uh, uh, you know, a little better success on your crankbaits. Good All deal. Right, Barry. Well, folks, what we do, we, we run a barrel swivel anywhere from three to four foot long, and then, piece of leader line and I like to run a little bit heavier piece of leader line that way if I'm getting a fish in I can get a hold of that line bring the fish in the barrel swivel will keep you keep the line twist down in your in your actual main line that's going to your reel it helps a lot you'll get a few more days fishing out of your line that way with with running that barrel swivel and then down here we use a snap swivel on our on our crankbaits and we decide we want to change colors we can we can just snap, retail, you know, put on another bait really quick. And uh, that's just one little tip that'll help you with pulling your crankbaits. Yeah, that's, that's real good. For example, uh, Barry, uh, like uh, that shot leader, whatever you call it, that's, what size would that be along with you? Is that a four pound line? We're here? pulling on four pound main line, and then yeah. this line down here, we use anywhere from eight to 10 pound on our leader line. And that just gives us with the with the crappie we're getting them in. It just lets us be able to get hold of that line and bring the fish in the boat if we're not netting them at the time. Good deal. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh huh. Uh -huh.
But I'll take him any day. He's pretty good too, eh? Got these pliers. I got your black ones right here. But that's a sign that when you see them hooked like that a lot of times, that's just where they've they're slapping at it. They're not necessarily wanting it. Uh-huh. I just want to kill it or something. The vibrations yep. just made them mad. See what he is. He's eleven incher. You know me again? No, he's good. Mm -hmm. Lie well, getting full. Not a great begging, but he is a he'll make a fish he'll make he'll make the grade, I think. Yes, eleven inches. Hey, I'm just swimming to me. I can't stand it. I got to get in that boat. Let me get in the boat. So I'm gonna get in there. Alright, way to go, big guy. Way to go. We got him. Your death on my tell you. You getting you you and the your brother together, they ain't got a chance. They ain't got a chance. You see that thing, Benny, and I'll get him back out there where we want him, we'll make a circle and go right back across them rascals. Yeah. Right there on that yeah, he showed me a spot out there was coming to big water bait and off that point. Sure enough, when he got there, dang, he nailed it. Nailed it. Head and jaw and brought him to the house. This is, uh, you wouldn't believe it's a July going toward the last week in July. Still catching these crappie like this. What? What was water temperature? About 80, 81. It, this right now it's old. It's 81 and a half. 81 and a half. But now it's been being 84 Let's get down and 85. 85. Yeah. All right. I've seen it get up to 90 here, and that's when you have to go to them bigger, deep, deeper divers. We're gonna have their number on the screen a couple of times. Be sure to write them down when you want to come up here and have a good time and watch Bar Lake with them. They'll show you a great time. Folks, Hoss is going to tell us here how to build a fish attractor. That's, that sounded interesting to me a while ago, and I'd like to share that with you, with you folks. What about it, Hoss? Well, we like to put a lot of our brush out ourselves, and uh, one of the things I like to do is I take uh, two befores. And I like to make them out like a teepee with four legs. You screw them together at the top, and you have four legs that come down like a teepee, and then you'll take two befores and run about halfway down and go all the way around. And then I like to drill a hole in my top of my teepee, and I'll take and run a, a cord down there, and I'll put a, a five-gallon bucket full of quick creep, about 80 pounds. And, that, and it's centered, so when it hits the bottom, them legs won't let it walk off. The current won't pull it off. But I'll take brush and run up the legs and screw that brush on to my TP also. And that way you've got brush. That way your fish can get under your brush and around your brush instead of uh, everything just laying flat on the bottom. It makes it stick up off the bottom, gives your fish a place to get around. So if you got any scrap lumber around, just make you some TPs. Put your five gallon bucket in the center of them, and when it goes down and hits the bottom, it'll hold it right there in place. 
and uh, it, it does really good. We put a lot of those out, and we've caught a lot of fish off of them. Thank you, old bass. That was good. Very interesting. We get a lot of people doing that, putting brush in the lakes, rivers, like you're talking about. It makes some good homes for them. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's a pretty good fish. Yeah, buddy. You did good, old timer. Yeah. <laughs> it's a double header again. Doubled up. Another double header. And I also just put one in the boat there, so we had three on this bamity bam bam. I don't know what this is, Hoss. He's a, he's a pulling on you. He, he's a dandy, yes, sir. He's a dandy. One of them old big crappie or he's an old whacker whacker one. I don't know what he is. He got some big old shoulders on him. Yeah, that's what he pulled hard, wasn't it? Oh. A little squeaker. That is quicker. That's a good place to stay in, eh, buddy. Yeah? Yeah, it is. Time you don't watch far lane, so we've got all kinds of combinations here. Nice wet. This is Terrace View Marina, and you can uh, you can find them on Facebook and stuff. They've got uh, they're very accommodating. They rent pontoon boats. They've got uh, rooms up here on the hill, and uh, they've got a restaurant and a pool. And uh, they've got really good food there at the restaurant. There's little Joe pumping some gas. There's little Joe. Yeah, he's one of the kids. Lisa's Golden Diamonds on the corner of Battlefield Parkway and Alamar Street invites you to come by and check out the Tri-State's largest inventory of platinum, yellow gold, white gold, and sterling silver for those birthdays, anniversaries, or any special occasions. Lisa's Golden Diamonds has all your favorite designs, beautiful diamonds and solitaires or clusters, and they're all at outstanding savings. Compare prices, quality, and selection, and you'll see why your friends and neighbors recommend Lisa's. That's Lisa's Golden Diamonds, corner of Battlefield Parkway and Alamar Street. And this morning's fishing forecast is brought to you by True Turn Hooks. Today, sunny, clear, and a high 65 degrees. Slight breeze out of the northwest. It looks like it's going to be a fine day for fishing. This weather report is brought to you by True Turn Hooks. Every serious angler knows you can hook more fish with True Turn Hooks. Hey, Daddy, I got another one. i tell you folks, if you're on a nice place to stay, a good place, good uh, accommodations, besides the restaurant, they got a nice motel, and everything is taken care of you on top notch right here, ain't it, boys? It is. It's a good place. They got fuel here, place covered slips for the boats. Old captain here, he can take care of you, and, uh, not only catch some fish, but you can talk to these people here and get you a place to stay. And uh, that's how a big time you're gonna watch Bar Lake. Catching these crappie in summertime or fall, we fish year round for them, don't you? Year round, year, year round. round. They don't ever stop biting. No, well, they got to eat. They're like people, they got to eat year they round. They got to eat. Well, white boys, <laughs> the white brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed it. I appreciate you uh, taking care of us. Oh, appreciate great, you coming up and going with us, Benny. Great show. We, have, we enjoyed it. Good That's deal. Good. We enjoyed the, the show you did with us several weeks back, shooting the dogs on Chickamauga, and then we really enjoyed this trip, too. And, uh, I look forward to coming back with you in the wintertime and do something in the winter. We'll go we'll do it. We'll go do a float and fly or do some... Oh, I like that float and fly now. Uh, we'll do some lighted floaters or something like that. We'll we'll do something, catch yeah. them, whatever it takes to catch whatever them. Whatever it takes to get them, that's it, buddy. That's what we'll do. 
And we appreciate you folks joining in with us. And uh, like I say, if you're on a great trip, these are fellas to see. We'll have the number on the screen and everything, all the information you need. Thanks a lot for joining up with us here on the Southern Sportsman with the old stump bumper. Thanks a lot. Hey folks, this is Benny Ho, the old stump bumper. Thanking you for watching the Southern Sportsman. We're on each week on channel 61, the Fox Network, at 6.30 a.m. As well on our website, BennyHull.net. And remember, make a boy or girl happy and take them hunting and fishing. And I'll see you on the water. And let's all fight against water pollution.